he's still there. Yeah, there he is. He's standing by. He's remembering like like heck on the Remembrance Day. We got another question for you. We wish you were here, man, but the delay is weird. But listen to this question, and we'll jump into your answers. This is a question for Henry Cavill. Uh, I was just wondering, have you ever experienced what you experienced in the movie, how um, you've been in a situation where you've had to take a leap of faith and letting the trust part come later? Have you ever had that? Okay, thanks. All right, Henry, uh, the question is right to you, man. I'm not sure I understood it. He was talking in a funny accent. You might understand it. <laughs> um, right. Well, I think the whole thing about taking a leap of faith is that is exactly what trust is. It's not about letting the trust part come later. Uh, generally, I mean, we take leaps of faith um, in friendships and relationships. As actors, we take leaps of faith with directors. We never know how it's going to turn out. Um, Zach will tell us, you know, on the day he'll show us some previs um, and we'll do a scene and then he'll say, right, and behind you we're going to have all this stuff which doesn't exist now and we're going to cut in a certain way that we're going to, it's all going to make sense. And that in itself is a leap of faith and we just have to put our trust in our director or our friends or, or whatever the case may be. So, yeah, every day. This is something I've been wondering, and, uh, and uh, I'm not going to aim it directly at Henry because he's not responsible for this, but you can listen along, Henry. Uh, ever since I saw the trailer, and I've, I've seen this Thank movie you. twice in theaters, I watched it twice on an airplane going back and forth uncut, and then I just watched it again uh, at 3 in the morning recently uh, and had a great time. But here's what i got to know, and a lot of people on the Internet want to know. When little Clark, at the end of the movie, spoilers in that Amy Adams parlance, Spoilers at the end. It, it, when Lil Clark's running around with the cape on, Who's the who is he pretending to be? Right. I believe, I believe that that moment is a moment that is sort of, it's inside of him to be like he's not pretending to be Superman. He's pretending to be Kryptonian. That's without even that, knowing who he is. Without knowing, right? He's from another. It's like, it's like if you, um, if, it's like if he had been adopted from another land and somehow had an affinity toward the things that were natural to that culture you know i feel like that's what it is to me i love that beat though it's and, and of course the score which we haven't even mentioned yet it's just it's such a brilliant score but really touching particularly in that moment the relationship between him and pa Ken, I because really it's a pocket moment really yeah. is what it's about that's what, it comes that, that's what that's what we were trying to do is like i was like it's a jonathan moment he's looking he's not in the movie, we never, Jonathan never gets to see him be Superman, but he already had, you know, so that was okay. It was, oh, you get me right there. I'm telling you. It, yeah, it, I'm, I'm not even lying. I mean, we're here, of course, to celebrate the Blu-ray release and whatnot, but I'm, I'm here more because I just love it, man. I get emotional watching the movie. Like, you did, a, of course, you kick ass with the visuals and whatnot, but you found a way to make it an emotional experience, too, and naturally, I'm a comic book fan, so I'm geared into it, but... Uh, it, there was a lot of human. There was a lot of man in Man of Steel, mm -hmm. and not when I say man, I mean you know man and whatever. I don't want to alienate women, but Man of Steel. There was a lot of humanity, mankind. That, yeah. mankind and womankind. Anyway, boy, we're getting lost in gender politics, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we have a clip that we want to show you now. I've been trying to bring up time and time again, only because I know hidden somewhere in these clips you're going to watch. If you dig long, then people will study them and listen to them intently. You might hear something that has to do with a future picture. Um, we've been talking to, of course, the hero and the heroine of Man of Steel and the guy that put it all together, but you can't have a superhero movie without a bad guy, man. So we're going to take this moment to kneel before Zod. Zack Snyder sat down with Michael Shannon at your office recently? Yeah, it was super casual. We weren't awkwardly close to each other <laughs> or anything like that.